2022, it was estimated that NATO countries had a total of 2,049 military ships under the command of the alliance's armed forces. Out of these ships, 298 were patrol boats and only 17 were aircraft carriers. In general, the Navy fleet strength by country in the world is made up of all warship types, including aircraft carriers, submarines, helicopter carriers, corvettes, destroyers, frigates, coastal types, and amphibious assault or support vessels. In 2023, it is expected that there will be 10 new vessels entering service in military around the world. Number one, Istanbul-class frigate. The Istanbul-class frigates, or also called I-class frigates, are a set of four vessels being constructed for the Turkish Navy as part of a national warship initiative in Belgium. These ships are an expanded variant of an earlier class, Yazov-class frigate, and have a bigger hull for increased endurance. In comparison to Ada-class corvettes, I-class frigates will have about 50% more fuel capacity and operational or sailing range capabilities. They will also include a Mark 41 vertical launch system that enables multi-role capabilities, including the ability to launch anti-ship missiles. They can launch twice as many anti-ship missiles as the previous class, including the 66 Standard, 126 ESSM, and Vlasrock missiles. In addition to deterring potential threats, the I-Class frigate is designed to undertake maritime surveillance and patrol operations, inspection, and observation of the exclusive economic zone. Number two, FTI frigate. The FTI frigate, also known as the frigates of intermediate size, is a French military program that aims to develop and build a class of frigates for the French Navy. The program currently consists of five ships, with commissioning scheduled to begin in 2023. The modular architecture of the FTI medium-sized frigate will provide greater self-defense and long-range capabilities. The ship will feature digital technology for data processing and danger detection, such as a man-machine interface, and the CETIS system, which integrates onboard combat systems, command support modules, and planning tools. Number three, Nilgiri-class frigate. Nilgiri-class Project 17A, a series of stealth-guided missile frigates being designed for the Indian Navy, is another frigate class. The frigates make substantial use of low observability technology, such as novel radar absorbing coatings, composite materials, and faceted form superstructures. A total of seven ships will be built, with the first ship beginning construction in 2017. Approximately 75% of orders for Project 17A ship systems and equipment are provided by indigenous industries, including micro, small, and medium enterprises. The weapons platforms on Nilgiri-class frigates will be compact but with better stealth features, armaments, sensors, and management systems. They will also be armed with Barak-8 and Brahmos rockets. Number 4. Fujian Type 003 Aircraft Carrier The first Type 003 aircraft carrier, named after the Fujian province, is now being launched. This is China's first fixed-wing aircraft carrier built entirely in the country for the People's Liberation Army Navy. It is comparable in size to the Ford-class and Nimitz-class supercarriers of the United States Navy, and its design is similar in many aspects. This is the world's first non-U.S. carrier to even get close. The Fujian carrier was debuted on the 17th of June, 2022. The most noticeable change in the Type 003 aircraft carrier is the replacement of the ski jump with electromagnetic catapults. The previous carriers launched aircraft using the force of a ramp positioned at the front of the flight deck, while the Type 003 will include three catapults, similar to those used by U.S. Navy carriers. Number five, Project 949AM nuclear cruise missile submarine. The Project 949AM submarines are an upgrade of the SSGN Oscar II class, Project 949A submarines. The submarine's 24 P-700 anti-ship missiles will be replaced by up to 72 modern 3M54 caliber or P-800 Onyx anti-ship cruise missiles. In addition to better omnibus and combat information systems, 
Symphonia 3.2 navigation systems and a new fire control system, the renovated submarines will get improved communication, sonar, radar, and electronic intercept equipment. The submarines will be modernized to the same technical level as Russia's next generation Yasin class nuclear powered cruise missile submarines. Number six, Project 2386 Guided Missile Corvette. Project 2386 is Russia's latest class of corvettes being manufactured for the Russian Navy by Severnaya Verf Shipyard and Amur Shipbuilding Plant. The new class is modeled on the Steragushi class and Grisha class corvettes, although it will be bigger and stealthier in appearance. These corvettes are parallel used for coastal patrol, anti-submarine warfare, escort, and anti-shipping missions. These ships are outfitted with modern radar systems, anti-ship missiles, surface-to-air missiles, and torpedo launchers. There are plans to produce at least 10 of these corvettes. The lead ship of the class was put down on the 28th of October, 2016, and is scheduled to enter service after 2023. Number seven, Project 955A nuclear power ballistic missile submarine. Project 955A Bory A class submarine, Generalissimus Suvorov, is one of the three new vessels commissioned by Russian Navy to close out 2022. The Generalissimus Suvorov is the sixth Bory submarine of the Project 955 series and the third of the Bory A version. The first three submarines in this class were constructed from parts of incomplete Project 971 Stuka B submarines. The Project 955A variant, on the other hand, has been hydrodynamically improved. This strategic nuclear-powered submarine cruiser is set to enter service and will be called Imperator Alexander III after Russia's Emperor Alexander III. It will join three other Bore-class submarines in the Pacific Fleet around the end of 2023 and will undergo a full cycle of trials, including the launch of the Bulava Intercontinental Ballistic Missile in the second half of 2023. Number eight, Project 09851 Nuclear Cruise Missile Submarine. The Khabarovsk class, also known as Project 09851, is a nuclear submarine class being built for the Russian Navy. This submarine class is the second carrier of Poseidon unmanned underwater vehicle and is based on the hull of the Bory class submarines, but substantially smaller without the ballistic missile component. Surface displacement is estimated to be in the 10,000 ton range. It will carry six Status-6 six oceanic multi-purpose system long-range nuclear torpedoes. Moreover, the class is expected to carry anti-ship and land attack missiles. It is scheduled to enter service in 2023. However, if delayed, this date might be pushed back to 2024. Number nine, USS Louis H. Wilson Jr. DDG-126, Guided Missile Destroyer, DDG-126. USS Lewis H. Wilson Jr. will be a United States Navy Arleigh Burke class destroyer and is the second to be built in the Flight 3 series. General Dynamics Bath Ironworks began construction on the ship on the 3rd of March 2020 and the ship is scheduled to begin service in 2023. Flight 3 Arleigh Burke class destroyers are being developed to perform anti-air warfare and ballistic missile defense operations. These multi-purpose surface ships will have improved capability and capacity to support integrated air and missile defense missions. Additionally, they will be capable of conducting global maritime security, air, undersea, surface, and strike operations, as well as anti-submarine warfare, command and control, and anti-surface warfare. Number 10, USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79 aircraft carrier. The USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79 is the U.S. Navy's second Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier. It is the first aircraft carrier to be outfitted with modern radar in the U.S. Navy fleet, and the first of three class carriers to get radar arrays, the SPY-6 radars. If all goes as planned, it will enter service in 2023, carrying on the history of extremely competent nuclear-powered aircraft carrier platforms. Changes to the flight deck, enhanced weapon handling systems, and new nuclear-powered plants are also among the enhancements incorporated into the design. In addition, the class has greater electrical power generating capacity, the ability to accommodate future technology, as well as a decreased workload for sailors, resulting in a smaller crew size and lower operational expenses for the Navy. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.